Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual Wi-Fi hotspot. Now you can do this with a laptop or a desktop computer. And if you're using a desktop, you're going to have to have a USB uh, wireless adapter. I'll put a link up here where you can get one of these and watch a little video about uh, adapters they're really inexpensive now if you're using a laptop you can you just use the existing wireless connection and you can share your wireless or ethernet connection um, just like if it were coming from a wireless router without actually buying one let me take you to this free software and show you how it works and then we'll do a test drive of it okay so we're here at wowsofts.com and they have this software called Perfect Hot Spot. Real simple software. There's only a couple questions and hardly any setup. It works on Windows 7 and 8 and it's freeware. And it's very lightweight and it just sits over here in the system tray when it runs. And there's the download link there. I've already downloaded the software so let's go ahead and fire it up here. All right, so this is the software, Perfect Hotspot, and you need to fill out this information here. This would be the name of what you want to call your Wi-Fi network or, you know, hotspot. I'm just going to call it My Test Network. And this will be the name that people looking for wireless networks will see when they're scanning. And then you can put a password in here so that not anybody can use it without their password. And then I have um, a drop down box here. What internet connection do I want to use? Now, like I said before, I have this computer connected in two ways. I have a wireless network adapter on here. And I also have a local area connection. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, local area connection because it should be faster. But of course, wireless users will come through here, but the software automatically takes care of that. And then you can launch it when it starts up if you want here. Let me go ahead and do a split screen now. I'll turn on my tablet and we'll scan the net for networks and I'll show you how it works. So let me fire that up real quick. Okay, so hopefully you can see my tablet here and I've got my perfect hot spots here on my other computer. You can see that the tablet has two available networks currently. And I'm going to go ahead and start this hotspots and you'll see it pop up here. So I click. And there it is right there, my test network. And as soon as it fires up, that little window goes over here to the uh, system tray and it just says that it's running and that's all there is to it now i can still use this computer and then i can go ahead and connect to it here let's go ahead and try that so if i click on it it'll ask me for a password that's the password that i set it up with let's try to connect here connect we're looking over in this area for connection. I must have typed in the wrong password. Let me try that again. Oh, look, it's authenticating. It just took a minute. There it goes. It's connected to my test network. It gives the IP address and the gateway, which are all different from my current Wi-Fi connection that I have existing already and um, it's that simple and I can use this computer as normal and it won't slow me down one bit so if you have an existing Wi-Fi and you just need to extend its range you could do this or if you want to create a wireless network and you don't want to go out and buy a hundred dollar wireless router you can just buy one of these USB dongles, you know, for wireless and turn your desktop into a wireless network connection. So I, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. 
If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.